Lesson 1. Meeting new students. 1. How is everything going with you? Great. You? Pretty good. Good for you. When did you start going to PCC? This is my second year. How about you? I only got here this year. You like it so far? It's okay. I can tell you don't really like it. It'll get better after I finish my general education. I understand what you mean. Lesson 2. Meeting new students. 2. Hello, how are you doing? Pretty good, and you? I'm doing great. That's great to hear. So how long have you been going to PCC? I've been going here for a couple of years now. You? This is my first year. How do you like it so far? It's all right. You don't like it. I'll like it better once I finish my GE. That's exactly how I used to feel. Lesson 3. Meeting new students. 3. How are things with you? Not too bad. How about yourself? Not bad. I'm glad to hear that. Have you been going to PCC long? I've only been here two years. How about yourself? I just started this year. Do you like it? It's fine for right now. You do not like it, right? Once I'm finished with my GE, it should get better. I felt the same way my first year. Lesson 4. Parking at school. 1. What is the best place to park? What vehicle do you usually bring to school? Is it an automobile or, or a motorbike? I drive a motorcycle. Okay. That means you can park in the student lot or on the street. Have you seen the handicapped spots? I'm not sure what a handicapped spot is. Look for the blue signs and blue marked spaces. Do you usually park in the daytime or the evening? I park days and evenings. And be careful about the time limits on the streets. Have you seen the signs for time limits? What signs? As long as you are careful reading the signs, you will always know how long you can park and what days are okay to park there. Are you aware of the curb colors? What curb colors? If you can remember that red means absolutely no parking and white means that you can only load and unload, you're going to be okay. Lesson 5. Parking at school. 2. Can you tell me where I can park? Are you driving a motorcycle or an automobile? I drive an automobile. Fine. You can either park in the student lot or on the street. Do you know what ha handicapped space is? Yes, I have seen those spots. Well, when you see the blue spots with the handicapped logo, do not park there unless you have a special permit. Are you going to be parking in the daytime or the evening? I park in the evenings. Then you also need to be aware of the time limits on the street signs. Have you seen those signs? Yes, I have seen the signs. The signs always tell you how long you can park there and on what days. Do you know how to read the curb colors? Yes, I know what the curb colors mean. Well, just as long as you realize that red means no parking and white means no loading and unloading, I think you know what you need to know. Lesson 6. Parking at school. 3. Where should I park? Do you have a car or a motorbike? I drive a scooter. In that case, you can park either in a student lot or on the street. Are you aware of the marked handicap spots? No, I haven't seen those spots. The handicapped logo with blue means that you are not to park there unless you have a handicapped permit. Will you mostly be parking during the day or the night? I park in the daytime. Make sure you pay special attention to the street signs with time limits. Have you noticed those signs? 
No, I have not seen the signs. Pay attention to what the signs tell you in terms of time limits and what days you can park there. Do you know what the curb colors mean? No, I don't know what the colors mean. Just remember the red means absolutely no parking and white means loading and unloading only. I think you'll be good to go. Lesson 7, adding a class, 1. I'm not sure how to add a class. Do you have an ad sheet for me to sign? I'll bring one next time. When you get the signed ad slip, you must take it to the admissions and records office or you will not be added. Can you find the office? I think I know where it is. Across the courtyard on the right is the office. Follow the signs to the correct line. Is that clear? Thank you for your directions. It's clear. You can't miss it. Add the class and then come back. We'll check later to make sure you are on the roll sheet. That's great. Thank you so much. Do the same thing with a drop slip if you ever need to drop a class. Good luck. Lesson 8, adding a class, 2. I am unsure how to add a class and need help. I have an opening. Do you have an ad sheet for me to sign? Yes, I have an ad sheet. After I sign it, you must take it to the admissions and records office to add the class. Do you know where that is? No, I'm not sure. When you cross the quad, the office is right in front of you. Go inside and follow the signs to the correct line. Thanks. I understand what to do now. It should be easy to find. After you add the class, check with me in a few weeks to make sure that you are on my roll sheet. That sounds good. Good. Just make sure that you do the same thing if you ever need to drop a class. Good luck. Lesson 9, adding a class, 3. Professor, can you help me add your class? You have to bring me an ad sheet to sign. Do you have one? No. I will have to get an ad sheet. You must take the signed ad slip to the admissions and records office to add the class. Do you know where that is? No, I, I don't know where that is. The office is in front of you as you cross the quad. The signs in the hallway will tell you where you need to be. I think I can find it. You'll find it easily. Make sure you add the class, and then we will look at the roll sheet later to make sure that you were added on. Thank you for letting me add your class. To drop a class, you may need to do the same thing with a drop slip. Good luck. Lesson 10, getting a library card, 1. Good morning. Is this where I can get a library card issued to me? Yes, no problem. We have a short form right here. Just hand it to me when you are done. I'm done. That looks great, but I will also need your driver's license or other form of ID. Sure. Here it is. Well, this looks nice. Do you know how to use it? I am pretty sure how to use it, but can you remind me? Of course. Just remember that all of the needed information is on the card. I see. Well, I hope you have a wonderful time on your library visits. Lesson 11, getting a library card, 2. Excuse me, I'm interested in getting a library card. Sure, let me give you an application. You can fill it out right here at the counter. Okay, here it is. Let me take a look at this for you. May I have your driver's license, please? Here's my license and form. You seem to have filled the form out all right. Are you familiar with our rules and fines? Yes, I know what to do. The hours and limitations are printed on the card and this handout. Okay. Thank you for joining the library. We look forward to serving you. Lesson 12, getting a library card, 3. I was wondering if you could help me to get a library card. Of course. Just fill out this form and let me know when you are finished. I'm finished. I will also need your driver's license. Hand me the filled out form, please. Okay, the form is all filled out. Perfect. Do you know the hours and rules for the library? 
No, I have no idea what they are. Everything you need to know is printed on the card and handout. Yes, right. Great, you are all set to enjoy the library. Lesson 13, using a parking meter, 1. This parking meter is really confusing. Can you help me figure it out? It's just like the old one, but with new stuff added. Yeah, okay. The first step is deciding on debit or credit card payment. So which one is it? I have coins. Perfect. Now, can you see the rate on the sign? I didn't see that, but now I do. Once you know what it will cost, put the payment in. Here it goes. You are doing great. Let me move on to the next step. I am a little confused. Just make sure that everything registered and then you are good to go. Lesson 14, using a parking meter, 2. Excuse me, could you help me figure out how to use this new parking meter? Sure. It was confusing for me also. Have you ever used a regular meter? Yes, I understood the old one. Well, on this one you can use coins or a debit or credit card. Which one would you like to use? Debit or credit card. Okay. Now, do you see what the rate is on the sticker? Yes. Okay. Now that we know what it will cost, put the money or card into the machine. Yes, I can do that. Wonderful. Now, the machine asks you the number of your spot, so put that in also. Yes, I'm ready. All you have to do now is take your receipt and put it on your dashboard. Lesson 15, using a parking meter, 3. Whoa, I never saw a meter like this before. How do you use it? It's simple. Once you do it a few times, do you know how the old one worked? I never used a parking meter before. So we start out by deciding whether you will use cash or a credit or a debit card? Cash. Fine. Can you read the rate on the display? Yes, I can. Fine. Now that we know what they are ripping us off for, insert the payment. I'd rather not pay, but I have to. Fine. This machine does not ask you the number of your spot, so we can move on, all right? Perfect. Let's do it. Now just check the meter to see how many minutes you have. Lesson 16. Making an appointment with your professor. 1. Professor, do you have a few moments when I could meet with you? I scheduled my appointments from 2 to 4 on Saturday. What works best for you? Three would be a good time. Great. Do you need directions to my office? I'm not sure. Well, just make sure to go through the double doors and I'll be on the right. Okay, I'll find it. It's very easy to find. See you then. I will enjoy seeing you. Have a good week. Lesson 17. Making an appointment with your professor. 2. Professor, could I make an appointment with you? I am free tomorrow afternoon between 2 and 4. Do you have a particular time in mind? 2 o'clock would be the best time. Fine. Do you know where my office is? No, I'm not sure. Remember, it is in the E building on the third floor. I see. Don't worry. It will work out fine once you get there. I'll see you then. I'll see you then. Looking forward to meeting with you. Lesson 18. Making an appointment with your professor. 3. Excuse me, professor. Is there a time when I could meet with you? I could meet with you tomorrow, anywhere from 2 until 4. What time works out best? I would like to come in at 3 o'clock. I'm glad that works out. Can you find my office? Yes, I, w I can. Just follow the walkway to the outside and climb the stairs to the third floor. I got it. If you do get lost, just ask someone in the building to point the way. 
Thank you. I'll be there. If you need to cancel your appointment, please give me a call.